Lord, we serve. Hands of prayers, my Jesus. Hands of prayer, Jehovah God, the God we serve. Hands of prayers. My Jesus, answer prayers. Amen. 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 That's one of those us begin to start and just give God praise. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 103, verse um, 1, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I just want those begin to thank the Lord God for all he has been to you, all he has been doing for your family. All that is doing in your home. Father, we bless you, God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless your name, O oh God. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, O oh God. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, we just thank you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I just want to begin to ask God for mercy. The Bible said, in, the, in, in, in um, jo, um, Joshua chapter 7, chapter 7 from verse 11 to 12, he said, Israel has sinned. Amen. One man sinned, and yet God said, Israel has sinned. They have violated my covenant, which I had commanded them to keep. They have taken some of the devoted things. They have stolen and they have lied. They have put them with their own possession. That is why Israelites cannot stand against their enemies. Brothers and sisters, some of us are saying to ourselves, why is it that things are happening to us? Why is it that things are breaking down around us? Why is it that we cannot stand before our enemies? Why is it that we are turning our backs and running because, it, the Bible says it's because they have, made, they have been made liable to destruction. I will not be with you anymore unless you destroy whatever among you is devoted to destruction. Today we're going to pray and say, my merciful Father, I confess every error in my life. That has opened the door to the enemy to defeat me. I ask for that you forgive me and wash me with the blood of Jesus today. In Jesus' name, let me pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, I come to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Lord, in Jesus' name, that whatever it is in my life, oh God, that is still God, make me liable, oh Lord, to destruction. Make me liable, oh God, to judgment. Make me liable, oh God, to, 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 to perversion. I pray, God of heaven, that today you forgive, oh God. My Father, my Father. I come to you today. I pray, O oh God of heaven, O oh Lord, you will forgive. You will wash me with your blood. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash me away, O oh God? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And I pray, let that blood of Jesus wash me. That whatever is causing me to be liable, to be subject to destruction, O oh God, forgive today in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, forgive today in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the soul. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Our next prayer point is taken from Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 11. Today, our prayer focus is on masking the enemy. Brothers and sisters, there are people who are biting you behind, and yet they are blowing um, breath on you, making you feel like they are cooling you down, not knowing they are eating you alive. Today, we're going to pray. Bible says in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 8, verse 11, it says, In front of them stood 70 elders of Israel, and Jaanazia, the son of Safna, was standing among them. Each had a censer in his hand, and a fragrant cloud of incense was rising. Today we're going to pray and say, Mighty God, unmask the powers of, the, of my father's house. The powers are offering incense against my life. The powers that are hiding in places. God had to show Ezekiel the place to dig. So he can see these things. Today we're going to pray, mighty God, unmask the powers of my father's house, offering incense against my life. Let them be overthrown today in Jesus' name. Let me pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every power of my father's house, the, the elders of my father's house, standing to make offering, standing to make incense against my destiny. Today let them be unmasked. Let them be disgraced. Let them be overthrown in the name of Jesus. My father, my father.
the powers in my community, the powers in the land I live, uh, the power in the area I live, uh, the power, oh Lord God, in my workplace. Uh, oh God of heaven, let them be put to shame uh, in the name of Jesus. Let them be put to shame now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for it. So God, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Still praying on unmasking the enemy. We're going to pray according to uh, verse 14 of that same Ezekiel. He said, Then he brought me to the entrance of the north gate of the house of the Lord. And I saw women sitting there mourning the God Tumors. Many of us will say, Where is um, witchcraft in the Bible? This is witchcraft right here. Even in the very presence in the, in the, in, in, in the house of God. Today we're going to present my father, my father. Disgrace every power of witchcraft in my life. The power that says I will not succeed. The powers that are lamenting and are crying to their God, saying that you will not succeed. Say, O oh God of heaven, let their words be null and void today in Jesus' name. Let's be praying. O oh God of heaven, Lord, you said in your word, O oh God, they shall speak and shall not come to pass. He said, O oh God of heaven, Lord, he said that shall decree and shall be made not made established. And I decree, O oh God of heaven, that every word that was speaking against me, I said today, let them be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, my father, my father, I decree that you disgrace, O oh Lord, the powers of the witchcraft, the powers lamenting, the powers crying to two months, two months in my life, saying I will not succeed, say we will not excel, say we will not, O oh Lord, oh Lord, increase. I say, let that power be put to shame today in the name of Jesus. Let that power be put to shame today in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the soul. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18, because of our time, I will not read it. It said, I saw the horns that scatter Judah. But God showed him four craftsmen, four carpenters. That he said, they have come to terrify those horns. That so the children of Israel might live in peace. Today we can pray as a mighty God, send to me the carpenters of heaven to disgrace every on, scattering my glory. That whenever God gives you something, that's when something bigger will come that will take away that thing that God has given to you. That whenever God, you, so people will receive 1,000. That is when they will enter into something else that will be 1,005 that will take the 1,000 from them. Today we're going to pray as a mighty God. Send to me, O God, the four carpenters of heaven, O Lord, to disgrace the horns, scattering my glory in Jesus' name. Let me pray. O God of heaven, O Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I ask, O God, according to Zechariah chapter 1, O God, from verse 18 to 21, I pray, send to me, O God, the carpenters of heaven, uh, those four carpenters, let them be sent to me now, uh, that I might receive, O God, deliverance uh, from that horn. Uh, in the name of Jesus, let the horn... Uh, challenging me. Receive destruction now in the name of Jesus. Uh, let them receive destruction now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. I give you all the praise. I give you all the honor of God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Isaiah chapter 49, 24 to 25. It reads, that can plunder be taken from the warriors or captives be rescued from the fears? But this is what the Lord says. Yes, Captives will be taken from warriors and plunder retreat from the fears. I will contend with those who contend with you and your children, I will say. Today we're going to pray and say, mighty God, deliver me from the lawful captive that I and myself have walked into. That lawful, those things that the enemy says, you have done this, you deserve to be punished. And it's true. Oh God of heaven, deliver me from such a Lord in Jesus' name. From that cage, O God, which I have been put in, O God. From that prison yard, O Lord, which I have been locked in, O God. Deliver me today, O Lord, and set me free in Jesus' name. Let me pray. O God of heaven, O Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. O God of heaven, you promised in Isaiah chapter 49 that you will deliver me, O Lord, from the lawful captivity. And I say from every lawful captive, O God, that I have entangled myself in, I pray for freedom today in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, deliver me, O oh God, from the lawful captive. In the name of Jesus, deliver me, O oh Lord, from the lawful captive. In the name of Jesus, deliver me today from the lawful captive. In the name of Jesus, thank you for it. So, God, I give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 21. 
I will save you from the hands of the wicked and deliver you from the grasp of the cruel. Those people who are so wicked that does not even want to see and say, oh, yes, it's even my prison. Even some prison masters still give the prisoners food. Imagine a king when he was even in captivity in Babylon. The king told him, you know what? You will eat at my table. Yet it was, he didn't return him back to his country, but at least he, gave, he was merciful on him. But there are some captors that are so merciless that we will not even allow you to, do, to eat anything. Today we're going to pray and say, Oh God of Elijah, deliver me from the wicked and set me from the grasp of those who are cruel, those who are wicked. Deliver me from the hands, Oh God, in Jesus' name. Let's be to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, Oh God. Oh God of Elijah, oh God. Oh God, as you deliver the children of Israel, oh God, on that day, from the hands, oh God, of Baal, I pray, God of heaven, you deliver me, oh God, today. You deliver us today from the hands of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are cruel, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Deliver us, oh God, that we might receive mercy and grace, oh God. Deliver us, oh God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for it is so, Lord, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. After God has done all that, one thing we just need to pray for restoration. The time you are in prison yard, the things you will have had, the children you should have had, the wife you should have married, the job you should have gotten, the promotion you should have attained, the level you should have been. We are going to pray, so God of heaven, according to George chapter 12, 2 verse 25. Restore all that I have lost in time. And the enemy, I have lost to time and the enemy. The, all that time has taken from me, all that the enemy has stolen from me. Let it be restored to us now. In Jesus' name, let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we come unto you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We ask in Jesus' name, oh God, that you restore to us, oh God, all that is ours, Lord, in Jesus' name. My Father, my Father, I ask and I declare, restore to me, oh Lord. Oh God, all I have lost in Jesus' name. For everyone that have lost promotion, from everyone that have lost wife, from everyone that have lost children, from everyone that have lost or got increased, let there be a restoration today in Jesus' name. Let there be a restoration today in the name of Jesus. Thank you for it, so in Jesus' name we are praying. And lastly, we're going to be praying. I come to Isaiah chapter 65, verse 24. Say, Before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. Today, I just want to just begin to thank the Lord God for the answer prayers. Thank you for you. Thank you for you know that the enemy has been disgraced. Thank you for you know you have been restored. Thank you for you know, oh God, the enemy has been unmasked. Thank you for you know, oh God, it is well with you and all that concerns you. Let us begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, I just thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you adoration, O oh God, for I know it is well with us in Jesus' name. Thank you for all you have done, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. O oh God of heaven, we bless your name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. O oh God of heaven, Lord, we just thank you, God, for we know that it is well with us, Lord, in Jesus' name. We stand upon that promise in Isaiah chapter 65, verse 24. Before they call, you have answered. And I know, God of heaven, you that has put this burden on us to pray. You have answered us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. That everything, O God, time has taken from us. Everything, O God, the enemy has stolen from us. They are restored to us back, O Lord, in sevenfold, in Jesus' name. For as many, O God, that has lost, O God, whatever anyone has lost, I say today, let them receive a sevenfold restoration, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you for it, so God, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying.